After Sundara Chola sent several times to see Sembian Mathavi, Amitathai came to see the emperor. The emperor heard the news of his coming and walked to the door and waited to welcome him. He asked to be seated by his side on the throne. O king! My heart, which has been suffering from successive sad news, is satisfied to see that you are healthy. By the grace of God, may you live a long life and take care of this world, said the old Pratiyar. Mother! You mention that my legs have regained the power to walk. I am also satisfied with that. I was unable to get up and welcome all these cholas who adored and worshipped them. By the power of the love of a dumb and deaf goddess, my legs regained their lost nature. I was blessed to stand up and walk and greet them. But goddess, I am not satisfied with my life and do not wish to live much longer. Do not give me such a boon. Wish me soon to attain Shiv Padam. Said Sundarakalar. Emperor. All the forefathers of their clan have attained Hero Heaven and Shivapada. They will find a place in heaven for themselves. When the time comes, Shiva Ganas will come and take them away. But they will not be in a hurry to reach such a Pada. They still have so many duties in this world. The people below are living happily. Shivalaya Kangariyas are being held all over the country. Saivas, Vaishnavisms, Buddhists. Jains etc. are also praying for long life. Mother! None of them shall make such a prayer again. To pray for prolongation of my life is a prayer that prolongs my agony. Shall I long live in this world, having lost Aditha Karikalan, the bravest among the warriors of the Chola country? Shouldn't my life be gone before he dies? Emperor! Tragedy of a son is very fatal. But I, the demon, need not tell you about the power of destiny. Lord Krishna was a consort with Arjuna. Lord Krishna is an incarnation of Tirumala, the guardian deity. Even he could not save Aravan and Abhimanyu. Even after the death of such heroic sons, did not Arjuna live? Isn't Arjuna the one who has no desire for himself? Arjuna lived by accepting what Lord Krishna taught that in order to save human life, you must save your life. Mother! Abhimanyu fought and died on the battlefield. He shot the heroic heaven. Your son is not inferior to Abhimanyu in valor. Let this world never forget the heroic deeds of Aditha Karikalan in the battle of Sever at the age of twelve and in the final battle of Virapandiya at the age of eighteen. At last Abhimanyu was surrounded by many people and disarmed him and killed him in an unholy war. Likewise, Many conspirators isolated Aditha Karikalan by tactics and stood suddenly surrounded. They beat and killed. Mother! If only I could know for certain how he died, my mind would be somewhat at ease. Why should we grieve over what has gone away? Karikalan's destiny is over. The comet has fallen. The Chola nation has lost a great hero. Why and what will happen? Because the truth is not clear. Doubts arise about anyone. Mother. Some are raising doubts above the great Pluvatere, who has supported the Chola Empire as Odissa supports the earth. They are accusing in vain. Can't we ask him and find out the truth? Who has the courage to listen to the great evildoer? Not me, mother. Somehow he is caught up in this and is heartbroken. Who can listen to him unless he tells what happened? Mother. After my great father Rajadatha rode an elephant on the battlefield of Thakolam and entered the hero's heaven, the Chola army broke up and started to run away. The great warrior who rooted the fleeing soldiers and turned them into an army and chased away the forces of Kanaradava was the great Palyavatare. If he had not done that, the Chola kingdom would not have existed today. In the battle of Thakolate, his wife received sixty-four wounds. Even so, he stood on the battlefield without tiring and saw victory. Then we restricted him from going to the battlefield and made him an officer. What can I ask? Is there no other way for the truth to come out? It is said that Vandiyathevan of the monkey clan was near the body of Kari Kalan. I thought I would ask him to find out the truth. He also escaped from the underground prison. There is a reason to complain about this to the chief minister. Kuntava who had been silent until now, interrupted, Father. 
has the Prime Minister agreed to bring that warrior anyway? She said. Child. This kind of Prime Minister has accepted responsibility many times. But it is not certain to fulfill it. I know that Kanthamaran, the son of Sambuvarayar, has gone in pursuit of the fugitive. Kanthamaran is not so forward-thinking. He is quick-witted. Moreover, he is furious that the Sambuvarayar clan should not be tarnished. The fact that he has followed Vandiyadeva makes me worry more. Sir. It's best to forget what's gone. Think of what's to come. Mother. That's why I asked you to bring them. I was sending people after people. You need to help me by giving me ideas about what to do upstairs. Emperor. Many of the best ministers of knowledge are there to give their ideas. What idea is this Bidé woman going to give? Even when the Mahapurusha who took me by the hand and sanctified my life lived in this world, I never paid attention to government affairs. After he went to the world of God, I have been engaged in Shiva Kangaria. What idea can I give? Devi. Don't get angry. Not all the women who appeared in our Chola clan are demons. Here, my beautiful daughter Kundave, I have never seen anyone with knowledge equal to her. Excuse me, Chola Emperor. I am not born in the Chola clan. I am not born in the Malavarayar clan. Said the old brat. No matter what clan you are born into, women can be wise. Both the clan you are born into and the clan you belong to can benefit. Women can be the cause of the destruction of the clan you were born in and the clan you belong to because of your stubbornness. Mother, are you going to be the cause of such a clan's destruction? When Sundara Chola heard this, Sembian Madhevi throbbed like one treading on fire and said, Emperor. What is this word? Why should I destroy the Chola clan? Am I not so powerful? He said with tears in his eyes. Other princes and general government officials may consider. I didn't go to Kanchi because I thought what disaster would happen to this Chola kingdom. If I had gone, perhaps my dear son Kari Kalan would have been alive today. King Mana. You are so wise and so powerful. But you can't even change the destiny. The son of Kandaradatha, the Siddha of Siva, is qualified in every way to ascend the Chola Singh Adana. Actually the wrong thing I did was crowning myself. At that time all the adults said that, I could not argue and agreed. I am enjoying its benefits today. I am alive after losing my precious son. Suffering is enough for me. I no longer want to see this great kingdom destroyed by civil strife. Goddess. You must help prevent such destruction from happening to this Chola empire, said Sundara Chola. I am alive after losing my precious son. Suffering is enough for me. I no longer want to see this great kingdom destroyed by civil strife. Goddess. You must help prevent such destruction from happening to this Chola empire, said Sundara Chola. I am alive after losing my precious son. Suffering is enough for me. I no longer want to see this great kingdom destroyed by civil strife. Goddess. You must help prevent such destruction from happening to this Chola empire, said Sundara Chola. Enemies from the south and the north were destroyed. The main reason for the rise of the kingdom in this way was their rich man Aditha Kari Kalan. A princely title was built for him to be known to the world. How can I agree to change that and give my son the right to the kingdom? Even if I agree, will the world agree? Will the people of the kingdom agree? Emperor. Earlier you said you wanted to prevent the kingdom from being destroyed by civil strife. If Aditha Kari Kalan had been ignored and my son had been awarded the title, wouldn't the same civil strife have taken place? Is the kingdom destroyed? He asked. How can I agree to this thing which is against Dharma, justice and clan system? Or how can they agree? Mother help me. Express their consent to crown Madhurandha. With that, I will convince the general Pariyavilar and Thirukovalar Malayaman. Give your consent and permission and take credit for saving this Chola empire, said Sundara Chola emperor. Sembian Mathavi said, Sir. Do not ask for my consent. 
I cannot go against the orders given to me by my lord who attained Shivapada. But I will no longer interfere in the affairs of the kingdom. Call Madhurandha and ask for his consent and do as you please. Said. Yes, yes. We must call Madhurandhagan and ask his consent to decide anything. We need your help for that too, Devi. Where is Madhurandhagan? Said the emperor. Sembian Mathavi cleared his throat and patted his nose, where is Madhurandhagan? I have been asking the same question for the past three days and no one has answered me. O king! Where is my son? Call the commander of the fort, Chinapula Vetariar. Said. Little Palyavetarayar says they should be heard. He accuses them and the first minister Anurudha of some conspiracy and hiding Madhurantha. Mother! Now let me bring the little Palyavetarayar and the first minister. Said the emperor. Make them bring it like that. I'll ask them too. Said Champion Mathavi. Kundave immediately went to the gate and sent word to the guards there. After a while, the chief minister and the chief minister arrived. The emperor said to the small Plovaterayar, Commander. The old woman who worships the Chola nation is asking the same question you asked. Where is Madhuranthagan? he asks. Tell us what you know about Lord Madhurandak. Tell us your doubts as well. Said. Chinapalyavatera Yar said, Devi Yar's devotion to Siva and her zeal are known to the world. I admire her as the Chola people regard her as a walking deity. What I say now should not be taken as an accusation. Devi Yar did not for any reason want her sons to ascend the Chola throne, this too was known to all. More than the elder Prati Yars. Neither I nor others could have much love for his son. Yet some mysterious things need to be explained. Above all, the emperors bring Madurand Hagar. As he has given orders to Adayan, I am compelled to reveal some of my doubts. Point three days ago, Elder M. Piramati and Madhurandhak Deva went out of the fort. They went to the hut of Sendan Amuthan, who was doing the Pushpad Tirapani, and inquired about Kashi Mam. Then Devi Yar alone returned to the fort. After some time my Tamayanar and I were standing a short distance from the fort gate and talking to the velar of Kajumbalur. While I was inquiring about Madhuranthak Devar, some people entered the fort with an elephant palanquin entourage. Long live Madhuranthaka Tivar. The slogan was also heard. It was the Prime Minister who pointed it out then. He said that the person on the elephant was Madhurandak Deva. I was a bit skeptical about it. Later, the guarding of the fort came under my control by order of the emperor. Madhurand Hakar used to stay in my palace. I did not inquire about it that night. When I inquired the next day, I found that he did not come to my palace. After searching all over the fort and questioning everyone, nothing was known about Lord Madhurandak Deva. How did the person who entered the fort magically disappear? The goddess and the prime minister must excuse me for what I am about to say now. I hope that they both did some trick and told Madhurandhagar some news that scared him and made him run away from this city and the country. Again I beg the great Pratyar's forgiveness if I am wrong. I hope that Madhurandhagar has told him some alarming news and made him run away from this city and the country. Again I beg the great Pratyar's forgiveness if I am wrong. I hope that Madhurandhakar has told him some alarming news and made him run away from this city and the country. Again I beg the great Pratyar's forgiveness if I am wrong. Sembian Mathavi said in a subdued voice, Talapati. What you have just said is completely wrong. I bear witness to Lord Shiva's lotus feet. I did not talk to Anuradhar recently about my son. There was no scheming. It is true that Madhurandhagan and I went to Sendan Amuthan's hut that evening. When I left, Madhurandhagan was coming back after some time. He said. I haven't seen him since. I've been looking for him for three days. Said. I agree with DVR, then the Prime Minister must solve this mystery. Said Kalantakar. What mystery? Asked Prime Minister Anuradhar. It's about the mystery of the disappearance of the goddess's son. Commander. Is it true that they said they thoroughly searched this castle? 
yes, searched everywhere except their palace. Why did you leave my palace alone? It is because of the honor that you are the Prime Minister of the Chola Empire. A.G.A. Then it turns out that they did not do their duty properly. Let it go. Emperor. Their great mother and Chola nation's worshipper Shuromani, the elder empress did not tell me anything about her son. I did not make any intrigues with him. But I will say one thing. The god who arose in the womb of the goddess is in my palace. He has been there for three days. Now he is waiting at the door of this room to visit himself and mother. If you give me permission, I will bring him. When the Prime Minister said this, everyone present could not express the surprise. The Emperor said, Prime Minister. What fun! I will ask permission to bring the son of the Goddess. Bring him quickly! said. Prime Minister Anuradhar went to the door and knocked and came back in. In the next moment, Santhan left Amudan in front and came to all Alwarkadian. Isn't there a limit to the Prime Minister's sarcasm? said the little rascal with great fury. He asked. But Sempian Madhavi stretched out both her hands and filled her face with love and passion and said, Son. When he called that, the commander got confused. Sendan Amuthan said, Mother. Do you even now have the heart to call me? That is the benefit of my penance. Saying that with tears in his eyes, he approached Sempi Yan Madhavi. The devout goddess, who is known in history as Madhurandaka Adamach Chola, embraced Shiva Bhakta Selvan with love and shed tears of joy.